Hi, I'm Dean, one of the winners of last year's Breakthrough Junior Challenge. What can I say? Um, it was an experience that changed my life. I'm in the middle of applying to college now, and I have to say that winning the scholarship has changed the game. It's opened a lot of doors, and I never thought I would ever have an opportunity to study overseas. And now that might actually come true, hopefully, fingers crossed. Mm. Besides the scholarship, I think this entire process of joining the challenge has shaped my worldview and I know that's a really big claim to make, but I'll explain all of that soon. In other news, I even have fans now, case in point. And I bet you didn't realize my t-shirt color just went from red to blue. <laughs> anyway, recently I've been getting a lot of questions about the 2017 Breakthrough Junior Challenge. So I hope this video answers some of your questions. Right off the bat, there are two very, very important things you have to take note for this year's challenge. The first being the deadline, which this year is 1st October, and the time limit of your video, which is now 3 minutes. So easy, 1st October, 3 minutes. Okay. Now, more on my experience. I didn't have a lot of equipment, it was just my iPhone for filming, iMovie for editing, and an eye for creativity. I should stop doing those. So you really don't need fancy software or hardware to get started on this. What I loved most about the process was being able to share what I loved most about science. I think there are lots of parallels between what happens on a molecular level and what happens right in front of us. And if you see that link, you see how our world works. So you see, science is really about life, about drawing dots from past, present, to future, to learning more about ourselves and the world at large. And we can be a part of this, even if all we have is just an idea. The great thing about this challenge is that it lets you share your love for science with more people who love science, and we all get to learn something in the process. As for the prizes, first there's a scholarship, then a $50,000 prize for your teacher, and also a really cool science lab for your school. I'm sure you've read about that and gone like, <laughs> Because I relate, I was there too last year. So allow me to supply you with even more reason to join this challenge. Based on my experience at the award ceremony, what struck me there was the palpable energy. Not just because the ceilings were made to look like gravitational waves, but it was electrifying to meet so many people who were dedicated to science, to innovation, to learning. It was really cool to realize that a love for science also gives you a really strong sense of humanity. I met past and present laureates who shared their motivations with me, which was often to solve a problem we face, or understand our world better, or improve our future. I also met Sao Khan, who has saved me on multiple exams, and of course the founders of the prize who essentially made all of this possible. I can't put to words how incredible the whole experience was. It was this sense of being a part of something that's much, much bigger than yourself. So that was a brief summary of the entire experience, and in case you haven't noticed, I now blend into the wall. Essentially, I hope that you will give the challenge a shot, because it can change your life. To end off, some of you have asked if I will be making more videos, and the answer is yes. I have some really cool ideas that I can't wait to share with you guys, but for the next few months at least, the focus is on you. It's about what you are interested in and what you want to share with the world. So all the best with the challenge, and I hope to see you guys soon.